Hi, I'm Ozzy Villa, and welcome to episode 19 of our first star quest to win the Champions League with Arsenal for the first time. And since last episode, we'll be smashed into to take control of our Champions League group, just the two games against Crystal Palace and Huddersfield in the league, and two good wins. Crystal Palace, first of all, we dominated possession in this game, uh, but we didn't really create that much. But Milinkovic Savic, what he's uh, it's close, I think he's got 10 goals already this season, absolutely on fire, uh, and that got us to three points. Then we play Huddersfield at home, and this was absolutely stunning. A much, much better performance. 4-0, as you can see. Mkhitaryan, Gwenduzi, Aboumeyang with a penalty, and Olsen with the goals. It was just back to our best sort of stuff. So today we're going to be playing uh, Sevilla in the Champions League. A win here, and we just about secure promotion, uh, promotion uh, progression, I should say, uh, with 9 points. And then Spurs in the derby. That's going to be tough, tough and tasty, isn't it? So let's have a look at the league table after those 2 wins, and 9 wins from 9. We are absolutely smashing it. We have 5 points clear of Liverpool in 2nd, and what's that? 8 points clear of Chelsea in 3rd. So we're beginning to run away with it just a little bit, uh, but no doubt Tottenham, mid-table Tottenham, will be very keen to put a dent in our aspirations there. But look at this Champions League group. A win here, and it's worth well, Inter win as well. It's almost secured uh, already, which is good, because then we can start resting players and, and doing things like that. This is the team we're sending out. Leno in goal, Tierney, Mustafi, Socrates, and Bellerin as a back four. Uh, Milinkovic, Savic, and Zaka in midfield. Nelson and Iwobi, they're going to provide the width for Mkhitaryan and Aboumeyang. Um, of course, for those of you who may have forgotten, uh, Ozil's injured, semi-seriously semi injured. Another three, it's about another month, two months out for him. So Mkhitaryan, it all falls on him. And there will, of course, be a goals of the month at the end of the episode, so you won't miss any of the goals. Uh, we can see the way that they're lining up here. It's sort of a 5-2-2-1, two, two, would you call that, I guess? Um, now, I'm going to have to remember to change our marking things because they don't have fullback, so I'll have to be able to do that before kickoff. But, Norbert says we should go out there and prove a point. I'm going to say we're in good form. Um, let's back the media up. Do it for the media. Oh, that worked. That seems to work really well with Arsenal. Just do it for the media. Your reputations are on the line, so there we go. Uh, I'm just going to make these changes, guys, and we'll be back for kickoff. And by this changes, I just mean uh, our, our wingers have marking duties. So if they play fullbacks, they would mark the fullbacks. Given that there's no fullbacks, obviously that doesn't need to happen. So um, we'll get them to mark the wingbacks. Just try and stay tight, given especially that we're away from home. Um, and that should hopefully free up Bellerin and, um, and Tierney to get forward as well. So we'll give them a get creative here. And see what we can do. Uh... Yeah, I mean, Sevilla have struggled. Inter's got the lead. Sevilla have struggled, haven't they, so far in uh, in this season's Champions League. So it's a good opportunity to go and um, you know, get three points. But I'd be okay with a draw here um, away from home in the group. It is just about getting out of the group. And we're in a really, really good position so far. So let's see what we can do here. Mkhitaryan lays it back to Mustafi to Zaka. What is going to happen? Hopefully we're not going to stuff up and give it away. Uh, that's the nice ball in there. Oh, this is cracking stuff. Look at that out for Tierney. Can Tierney take on his man? We're going to have a Aubameyang in the middle. We have Pellegrini on the bench as well, along with uh, David Burkamp, of course. Um, they are a little bit weak from crosses, so... Oh, if it's savage, just passed on. But Iwobi! Oh, what a save! That would have been a stunning goal, but the keeper has pulled one out of the top draw. That was a really, really good save onto the crossbar. Uh, a little bit unlucky there. Um, yeah, they're a little bit weak from crosses. So we've got uh, sort of our best jumper header of the ball on the bench. So if we need him, he's there. Um, let's see, Mustafi down to Tierney. Look at this. This is cracking stuff. Out for a Wobi. Can he take on his man? We do have a few injuries too. That's a good ball for a Bumi. Look at that. It's a cracking ball. And oh, it's a ball. Oh, it was a save. It was a save. So not too much blame to be put on a, a Bumi Yang there. Um, he's just not in the same form he was last year, which, to be fair to him, he never was, but it's a little bit disappointing. Uh, Reese Nelson, is that another corner? It's a goal kick. That's a little bit unlucky. Um, I might give it a demand more here, maybe. We're not particularly playing well. I mean, we're dominating the game, but the match ratings aren't aren't fantastic. Um, Inter's 2-0 up now, so that puts them... They're not going to go away, are they? They're, they are going to be a good team, and we're going to have to go to their place as well, so... Yeah, it would 3-0 up now. In terms of topping the group, you'd like to win this game, but I just I feel like I don't know, it's not really playing as I thought. I thought that every all the teams would take points off each other, and it's really playing out a little bit more in the just like Aston Inter are just smashing everybody and every and the other two are just I mean they drew each other and they haven't really threatened, have they? Uh, I think Bayer Leverkusen, well I mean 
Inter's destroying the team, so we're beating, we beat Leverkusen 1 0, of course, but then we beat Inter comfortably, so I'm rambling on a little bit here, I know, but it's a little bit difficult to know exactly, um, you know, what to, what to make of of the group. So throw in for Mkhitaryan, he's turned away from, oh, it's done brilliantly there, Mkhitaryan, oh, that would have been a belting goal, it's still there, he's offside, surely, yeah. Oh, that initial run, though, from Mkhitaryan was just something of pure brilliance, and. He was just—he was offside from that that second shot. There's no doubt about it. There, yeah, he's a mile offside. It's a shame. It is a shame. Um, disappointing. A Wobi couldn't have just put that in himself. We do deserve to be in front here. I'm looking at changes. Um, let this go. Mikaterian goes in for Milinkovic Savic. That's a great header from the big Serbian, and that is the lead. It looked like it was going to be one of those, isn't it, to, to get us in front. He is a beast in the air. Malinkovic Savic is the complete midfielder. I'd almost go as far as to say he's the best player in the game. Uh, he can do everything. That's just a towering header. Uh, and we've seen him belt them in from the edge of the penalty area as well. He can he can do everything. Uh, now Nelson's not playing well. Awobi's looking nervous. Let's give them some. Do we give them some praise? Let's give it a demand more, perhaps. Um, what can we do here? Jacka's looking tied, and we have a corner to defend. Oh, come on, boys. Head on this. Head on this. Well done, Socrates. It's still there. Danger's still there. It's going to be a second cross coming in, it looks like. It's a bit of a lungy tackle, but got away with it. And again, oh, well cleared. Well cleared. If Yang's after it, he's not going to quite get onto that, though. Um, pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, this is good stuff. I'm enjoying this. They're trying to play out from the back. In the end, it was easy, wasn't it? We've just wasted a bit of energy running around. Oh, we're getting stuck in, though. I don't hate that. Mustafi, and he wins that back down to Mikatarian. Mikatarian is just... He's so good, but he's just not Ozil. Um, but I'm really happy with how they're playing. It's a good ball for Reese Nelson! Oh, he's missed it! Oh, he should be scoring that. Who do we have on the bench? We have Smithrow on the bench... Um, yeah, I mean, Nelson's been playing a lot lately. We might we might take him off. Um, Aboumiang's not having his best game either. I don't want to make that change just yet. Not just yet. Um, let's give them... What, do, what can we tell them? They're, they're playing just demand more. They're motivated. You know, they're, they're not playing poorly. 4-0 Inter's beating Bale and uh, Leverkusen. That's insane. Um, we're not necessarily playing badly. We just can't put this game away. Can Bellerin get a cross in here? He can. Back post. It's... No. Tierney's there. Oh, it's a penalty? It's a penalty. That's a silly penalty to give away, isn't it? The defender was, it said it shoved a Wobi, pushed him, whatever he's done. It's Malinkovic Savic, I'm assuming, because he should be our first choice penalty taker. And he's had a good record so far. Can he keep that going? He can. He's a quality, quality player. 100 million, over 100 million pounds worth, I think it was in the end. But worth every penny. Um, that's going to be the cue to give David Bergkamp a run out. So we'll bring him on the field and see what he can do. Can he get a Champions League goal? Just, yeah. Blink of it, Savage, guys. If you have the opportunity to sign him, I do recommend that. Now, Jacka's looking tired as well. We might just bring on Torreira for him. And that should be that. And then now we can kind of start to focus on the on the derby here, can't we? Um, I think if it's Savage, two goals. He's just... I missed how many goals it was he scored this year, but usually comes up when the goal thing comes down. But yeah, he's just been absolute quality for us all this season. I said, didn't I, at the start of the year, I think he'll have a big year for us. Um, and I didn't think it'd be this big. He is just, just on fire right now. PH Ganzo. That's the guy. That's the Brazilian guy, wasn't it? That was supposed to be the next big thing from Santos. I'm sure that's him. Um, can we? No, can we, uh, yeah, actually, can we have a look here? I'm sure that's him. He he must be getting on a bit now. Thirty. Yeah, that is him. One hundred percent. Oof. Vision nineteen. Passing of. It's a wonder he didn't kick on, isn't it? He looks like a really good player. Anyway. I'm digressing there. We've dominated that game. It's a deserved win. Um, well done, boys. And on we go to the derby. So Inter smashing their way through the group as we are. So we needed that three points in the end. And Milinkovic Savic has duly delivered that small knock for Mustafi. He should be fine for Tottenham. Uh, guys, wait right there. And we will be back for Spurs. 
Okay, welcome back for the North London Derby. And you can see we are favourites despite being away from home, so that's a good thing. Let's have a look at the team we're sending out, um, and hopefully this will be enough to get the job done. It's Leno in goal. It's Tierney Mustafi. Kashoni comes in along with Bellerin to play in the back four. Uh, Zaka Milinkovic Savic, Nelson Mikatarian, and Awobi with a booming up top. Very, very familiar lineup. Hopefully, good enough to get another result. Looks so like we're matching up here man for man. Now, we do have a Carabao Cup tie coming up after this against West Ham. That's going to be very much a reserves team resting some of these players because, especially Mikatarian, is starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit tired. I'm going to say, I don't think we need any extra passion out there. We're going to say, calm, do it for the fans. Uh, that's what I want. Where the favourites get the fans a performance. That seems to have worked relatively well, doesn't it? We're not going to do a general team talk here because I don't want to upset some of these motivated players here and risk them going no longer being motivated. Um, let's try a passion there. It didn't really work either. But let's go out there and hopefully smash Spurs. And here we go. And here we go. Um, yeah, we've got Kashoni in instead of Socrates. Um, it was kind of recommended because he has better positioning. Um and that is, Spurs have good movement, so they think that uh, it was recommended by data analysts that that's what we do. So we've taken their advice on that one, um, and see what we can do. Now, what we're doing a little bit different to normal, which is we're going to try and focus our play through the middle, um, and hopefully that will benefit us. Can we get this away, please? It's off the bar. It's cleared away eventually. Um, yeah, they they concede a lot of goals from through balls. So I think if we try and focus our play through the middle a little bit more, we might see some rewards for that. Well, that's at least, that's the plan anyway. Let's give us a demand more. Um, we, again, we are dominating possession, but we haven't really created too much as of yet. Um, you can see we are going through the middle. Oh, no, that's them. We are, we're actually not going through the middle as much as you might expect. I'm a little bit concerned um, that we have players like Mkhitaryan that just played too many games. We're not going to get a great performance out of them. Um, but with those all being injured, that's well done from Kashoni. That's, just a little bit, we don't have many options. We could try Reese Nelson in the middle. We could try a flat three in midfield. Um, all things I considered. But we're, this is what we have for now. Deli Alley, never really going to go in that one, was it? You would do really, really well to score from there. Uh, let's give it another get creative. Um, yeah, it's not going as I would have hoped. It's not going as I would have hoped. We are dominating the ball, though, so that's one thing. Um, but it's not how much ball you have, it's what you do with it. Let's you know. Let's give them some encouragement here. Nervous players make they make me nervous. They make the manager nervous. A uh, little bit of a snore fest so far, isn't it? Not, not a classic. We might take it off, exploit the middle, because um, that that doesn't seem to be working as we'd hoped. And I'm gonna say I'm not happy with that. I think because that really wasn't what we were expecting. Um, we'll do some individual talks here. Nervous player. Why are you nervous? Don't be nervous. Um, they're already motivated. We'll just try and fire them up a little bit more. We'll tell a Boomer Yang we're not happy. Again, a Boomer Yang just not quite at the races, is he? Okay, just two small tactical tweaks. Um, we're going to pass a little bit more direct. And we are not exploiting the middle anymore. So we'll just kind of use the field where we where the space is and hopefully see the benefits from that. Um, let's give it a get another get creative when we can here. There we go. Uh, we've been the better team, haven't we? Here we go. Are we going to just put it from the corner? Tierney to knock it in. It's decent. It's in the mixer. It's, it's in. It's a go from Reese Nelson. What's he doing in there? No idea. The winger pops up with a header from a corner. And that... That is good, isn't it? That's what we like to see. Third goal of the season for Nelson. And, yeah, they, I think he's in the... Is he an Academy product? I think he is. Uh, of course, out on loan last year, wasn't he? So we didn't get to use him in our first year at the club. But, yeah, that's really good. Um, all right. Jacko is looking nervous. He's not having his best game. He's on a booking. We'll just get him off the field. We've got Gwen Doozy, so that's fine there. Again, Mkhitaryan, I was worried about this. What we might look to do is we might just look to take him off and we'll bring Smithrow on and then we can just switch Reese Nelson into the middle there because he can play that role. Uh, we have one change we can make. I'm tempted. Uh, I'm just not happy with what we're getting out of Aubameyang this season. He's not doing that bad, really. He, I think he has five or six goals already. So that's... Oh, I thought that was going straight to the Spurs player. Um... 
so he's probably not doing that bad. It's just relative to what he was doing last year, and he seems to be missing chances he was putting away last year. Now, here's a chance for Smith Rowe. He's in acres of space. He gets the ball in. It's a good one. It's headed away, though. Uh, can we cut the pressure on? We should get to that. No, we don't. Harry Kane's coming back to get the ball. Um, they've gone long. It's headed away from Bellerin. Milinkovic Savage onto Bumayang. What can he do here? That looks a decent ball for Smith Rowe. No, Smith Rowe gone in field. Not quite sure what he's doing there. Now, this is looking a little bit problematic again. Mustafi's there. This is. Oof, that was mixed up territory, wasn't it? Awobi. I just. You know, there we go. This is better. Keep the ball. That's a little bit long. That's not what we really wanted. That's not what we want. This is a long highlight. And I don't like long highlights because they lead to goals. Now, if we have the ball, it's okay. That's a good ball for Awobi. Awobi. Alex Awobi there for Obama Yang! Oh! That was a really, really. <coughs> really, really well worked goal. <coughs> oh, I've got too excited now. I've got a frog in my throat. Um, that was really, really done, wasn't it? Look at this. Just eventually, we got the ball down and we started passing. That's a good uh, from Awobi. Sold Avelda, Avelda well. That guy, the Belgian guy that plays at the back for 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 Spurs. I'm too excited. I can't even speak. Um, that was really good, though. Really, really good. That's two nil, and that should be the derby. Uh, one thing I am tempted. They've been trying to get, sort of knock it over us to get in behind. I'm tempted to just drop out the defensive line a little bit and maybe prevent them from doing that. Um, yeah, so they're doing that again. We might do that. Keep us ball, surely? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're not doing it well, but if one of those comes off, then we don't really want that. We might just look to be a bit more compact as well. No, not that compact. There we go. Um, <clears throat> protect the lead a little bit. Not too much, but... It's up to them now to break us down, and I don't think they can do it. Famous luck. They're going to score three goals now. But, um, yeah, I think... Oh, that's a good ball for a former young. Can he play in a uh, Smith Rowe? He can. Smith Rowe! Decent effort. You wonder if he could have maybe just knocked it down to the byline and pulled one back, but that's all right. We'll let him off with that one. Uh, we do have some tied legs out there right now. Look at that. Again, they're just trying to knock it over us, and... So far, it hasn't worked for him, but they still persist. Here's Bellerin going on a bit of a run. Smith Rowe in front of him. He, oh, it's, oh, you could see he just under hit the pass. And now, are we at risk of a counter attack? They've gone across the field. So that kind of takes the sting out of a counter attack, but they do, of course, still have the ball here. Back to Winks. Dembele. Getting a little bit fancy there. Ericsson back to Dembele. Can we get a foot in, break up this passing movement? Oh, it's curved. It's curved in, and Harry Kane puts it in. Oh, come on, boys. We're better than that. Let's give it a demand more. Um, and that just keeps it interesting, doesn't it? It just keeps it interesting. There was some nice nice play here. Ericsson just, just curled one, didn't he? And it Was it off the bar, I think? Um, the defence has fallen asleep a little bit there and Harry Kane was awake to it. Uh, to tap it in. Are we going to go and throw this all away? Oh, there, are we? No, we're not. There's Reese Nelson. Over for a Boomer Yang if he gets there first. He still has his pace for now. He's getting older, but he does still have his pace. Olderveroid has... I can't get that name out, can I? Olderveroid, whatever it is. Veroid. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. A Boomer Yang! That is now the derby. There we go. I've distracted the Spurs players with my horrid attempts to pronounce their names. And Abuma Yang is there to power in the header. And that is 3-1. And surely now wraps up the derby. Smith Rowe, again, has done quite well there, hasn't he? Bellerin. First of the time he couldn't get in. But Smith Rowe just dinks in across. Again, Abuma Yang just pulling back off the defender and powering the header in. Really, really good at doing that. See, seven goals this year. He's not doing that bad. It just seems like he's not having his best year. Uh, we have a sub up our sleeves. Do we... What do we do here? Do we bring on Burkamp? Of course we do. Of course we do. Let's see if our young academy product can go and knock in a goal here in the derby to just put a little bit of icing on the, on the cake. Let's give it a... Let's give it. Let's give them some praise. I think they've earned a bit of praise. Uh, goal here just stays a little bit nervous for us. Can we get a foot in? Doesn't look like there. 
Come on. It's a little bit too easy for him. A good block, and it's knocked in by Dembel. Uh, but just his name, Deli Alley. 3-2. They're not going away, are they? They are not going away. Still four minutes to go here. Still plenty of time for us to mess this up. Um, I might... Let's see here. Let's just put these guys back to fullbacks. We'll just try and play this a little bit sensibly. Oh, we don't really need to see that again, do we? And the other thing we might just look to do is... Just look to see this game out. Slow it down. We'll regroup when possession's been lost. We'll be more disciplined. We will waste a bit of time. That'll really annoy them, won't they, if we're wasting time. Um... And there we go. And the other thing I might look to do is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Away. Away, Leno's claimed that. Well done. We'll just go to a counter-attack. We'll just look to hit him on the break. They, uh, they've they woken up Spurs, haven't they? Just go long, Leno. That's fine. You don't have to go short. He's, he's going to stuff this up, isn't he? He's going to stuff this up. No. He kind of got the memo eventually. Uh, we might also, in a second here, Smith Rowe tracking back. He's done well. Can We We need to block this cross here. We need to block this cross. What are we doing? We're not defending well. We're not defending well. We're not defending well. Oh! That was one hell of a miss. Um, you don't have to roll it out, mate. You can, you can do whatever you want. I'm not even going to make you... You can do whatever you want with it. Um... Oh, are we going to stuff this up? All right, concentrate, boys. Defend. No, there's nothing going on there. All right, it's been an even game in the end, hasn't it? It's been a good one, actually. <laughs> the fact that I'm tense and nervous means it's probably been a really good game to watch. Credit to Tottenham. They didn't go away. But I think we just about deserve that. Just about deserve that one. Um, yeah, we weren't at our best by any means, though. I'm going to say it's a bit of a let-off. Against a better team, against a quality team that actually can play football, we'll need to be better. So there we go. That, I'd say, is the toughest game we've had all year. Um, so, yeah. Bobby Yang got two. Nelson with a goal. We did get the job done, and that's what is important to remember. Oh, no. David Burkett. Just a day or two. He's fine. He's fine. He'll be there. He'll be starting in the Carabao Cup. That is for sure. Um, just the goals of the month to come, but that is it for this episode in terms of games. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next time. Um, I think... What should we do here? We'll come back for Bayer Leverkusen and Chelsea... I think that's probably best. Uh, we don't want to get bogged down to showing Sevilla two episodes in a row. So we'll do Bayer Leverkusen and Chelsea. That will be on Wednesday, of course. Um, so make sure you come back for that. If you have enjoyed that episode, we've won the derby, albeit not quite as comfortably as we made of like. Make sure you hit like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell so you see when I upload new episodes. But until next time, I've been Ozzy Bill, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.